Due to the tragic events in Europe and in Manchester, I have to admit I feel a little bit subdued today. Um, I have friends living in, in, in Manchester, and I also have people that work for me who are in Manchester right now. So excuse me if I'm, I'm even more boring than usual. Anyway, coming here yesterday, I realized that it's fairly unusual for an ICANN CEO to come to those events. Apparently, that has only happened once before, and that was my predecessor, Fadi, who came to a meeting and then he announced he was leaving ICANN. Um, I, I don't want to do that announcement, actually, and I want to celebrate together with you. Um, this is my one year anniversary uh, of working for ICANN, and um, I'm very proud to share that with you. And actually, my first day ever working for ICANN, I was in RIPE in Copenhagen. So you might say that this shows a part of the commitment I have for this community as well. Because I, I'm on the firm belief that we, the numbers, the names, and the protocol community, needs to work together. We're in this together. And going from now, I think that we're facing even more things to do together. Because now with the first four billion users of internet, I think we've done the easy part. There are estimations that in the next 10 years, about one and a half billion new users will come aboard. Most of them will come from South America, Asia, and Africa. Those users will be very different from the users we have today. They will be more local, more local content, more local languages, and more local demands. And as I often say, the amazing thing with internet is that it's two things. One of them is this big, global, interconnected thing. But we also see that a lot of the challenges going forward is this sort of collision between the local, this local village on the internet and the big global ones. And I think that we together have to work to be able to better understand the local needs of internet uses going forward. They will be preferably mobile. They will not have the same language skills. They will not be the elite. And that's the one we need to reach. And the reason for that is for me, personally, very simple. I do this job because I think internet is important. And I think internet is important because it connects people. And when people get connected, something magical happens. That's why I'm here, and I've, that's why many of you are here. For me, here in this part of the world, you actually, for me personally, has been a little bit of an example because you've been able to work very closely together in a way that we haven't been able to achieve in other places of the world. So I'm going to share something with you what I've done. Based on this cooperation, we are going to do some changes within ICANN as well. I don't know how well you know us, but we often talk about the different hubs we have around the world. But using what you've done here together with us, we're using it as an example of the rest of ICANN. So what we're doing is that we're going to work a little bit more on a regional basis. So for our office here in Montevideo, which we share with many of you, uh, we're actually going to upgrade that internally to what we call the regional office. And the reason we're doing that, we're, not, we're also doing that in the other places around the world, is because I know going forward to be able to meet the local demands, we have to be better of actually working together with our partners and to do joint plans. This is no news for you in this part of the world because this is something we've done very, very well here. So for you, the cooperation you have, have, have had here is actually an example, I mean, a best practice that we're going to do in the rest of the world. Another example on how we work together is actually that about six to eight months ago, during, before the transition, I signed a cooperation agreement, or actually an agreement together with you about the IANA services. I think that was an excellent idea because it also turns into something that we are now you are my customers. I am providing a service to you. And that is a transparency and accountability I really think is a good idea. And that's why I'm happy also to have my colleague Elise here to give back and report to you what we actually do with the IANA functionality. One of the speaking notes here uh, is that I want to give you recognition. And this is heartfelt for me and also for the rest of um, the ICANN staff who are here. We have more people here than we usually are. One of them is that 
we are trying to understand how we can work better supporting you with IP version 6. It's your game, and we're here to support you. And I think we sort of share the same vision on that anyway. Because going forward with the new users coming around, with all those users, we need, we need to be able to do what we do, a good basis of IP version 6 usage. And I offered to the board yesterday, your board yesterday, any support we can give uh, in any way. But you lead it, and we follow. Because going forward, if you just look on this thing that the next billion users will prefer be mobile, I think that's going to change a lot in how we see things. It's not only that they will see internet differently, they will use different applications to reach it, and there will be different demands. And with 5G, that in many ways shapes the concept of interconnection. Um, that's something that's going to challenge us all. One thing that has occurred to me many times over the last year is that no one has done what we've done before. No one has done internet before. There is no real rule book for this. There's very few people, even some people have been along, around for what they say is a long time. No one has done internet. No one has done what you've done before. So there's no real model for doing this. And the way internet touches people is far beyond any other technology, because it's an inter interactive thing. Internet becomes bigger when you are connected, and it gets smaller when you disconnect, if you ever do that. That's the way. That's the interaction. And this fantastic flow of interaction between people has never been seen before. That's why I'm so happy that you are using a model which is a bottom-up model, because it touches people in a way that no government or no organization or no people could say that this is the right way going forward. I think that's one of the reasons why the multi-stakeholder model, which you are using as well, is so important. Because we need to have more people engaged in this one. We need to have more people coming in from different sides and really describing us what the problem is. Especially when it comes to this sort of collision with the local and the global going forward. And I'm very happy about how, and I'm learning from your how good functioning bottom-up model that you have in this room. Anyway, in the tone, we need to work together, and we've never done it before. I hope that you're aware of, of this small experiment that we're doing the October 11th this year, when we're going to upgrade uh, the DNS key, the KSK. I just wonder, how many of you have actually heard about this? Could you please raise your hand? Oh, yeah. OK. Um, the DNS key is something We've never done this before. No one has done what we're going to do. But do you know DNSSEC? Please raise your hands. OK. That was better. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do, because of the security stability of the domain name system, we're upgrading the sort of password going into the KSK. So if you're an operator, you're involved in this in any way, or you know someone who runs DNSSEC, please make sure that they are upgrading themselves to be able to do this, because otherwise their users would have problems accessing what we call the internet. Got interested now? So now you can all go out and say that you heard about KSK and can have more information. If you want to know more, please speak to Adia. Anyway, I'm looking forward very much for this meeting. I'm looking forward to interactions with you. I thank you very much for having me here. I'm really proud to be here. Thank you very much.